Amazing. Anyone here use Yahoo? Anyone used to use Yahoo? Okay. So anyway, that is a good list. So if ever we want to look and see what's popular on the internet, um, the Alexa ranking is very, very useful. And you can also get an Alexa ranking on your toolbar, which will show you the ranking of your websites, which I'm sure should be in the top 10 business. I was going to say, is that encouraging? <laughs> well, it can be. But also certainly quite useful if you look at your competition, in terms of you against your competition. Yeah? So there's uses of it. All right? OK, guys. So that's a little bit about doing internet usage. Um, now, the next thing I want to talk to you about is, okay, the different types of websites. So, what I believe is, in terms of the internet, or generally, um, I believe, I've kind of categorised sites, I think, into about five or six categories that most people would like to in, in terms of what is on the internet. Number one, portfolio-based, or self-promotion-based websites. Who here is in the creative industry? Anyone here? Hands up. What do you do? Any of you in the creative industry? Architecture. architecture. Okay, so an architect. So have you got projects you've done? Yeah. So that would innate to a portfolio-based website. Yeah? Who else? Anyone? Huh? Journalism. Journalism. Okay. So a portfolio of work and the body of work that you've done in terms of journalism. Yeah, just examples of kind of writing style of um, videos. Excellent. And someone else that created as well? Um, architecture as well. Architecture? Okay, great. So I'll just show you um, quickly um, a couple of them. Now, I tend, in terms of most of the sites I tend to build, I mainly use WordPress as an engine to build. And if you type WordPress training into a search engine, I'm number one on Google in the UK. So I get most of my traffic, a lot of business through that. So a lot of the sites I build are in WordPress. How many of you guys have heard of WordPress? What is WordPress? Who wants to have a go? So WordPress is not only a content management system, WordPress is the most popular content management system on the internet. WordPress was developed in 2003 as a self-promoting website. So that means that you put stuff on WordPress.com. If you look at the Alexa ranking of the worldwide websites on the whole internet, WordPress is going to be number 20. So WordPress.com on the whole of the internet is the 20th busiest website on the whole of the internet. Now with WordPress, just so you understand it, you have two types of versions of WordPress. You have WordPress.com, yeah, which means that if my mother, let's say, which I keep telling her to do, I keep telling her to, I want all the recipes. So if my mother wanted to start a quick little blog without having to ask anyone how to do it, she could just start the website on WordPress.com, and all she has to do is just register, sign up, and the site will be there. Yeah? That's great, but it has some limitations. It's much better to download your own copy of WordPress on your own server, and that is called WordPress.org. So when I deal with clients, I always tell all of them, really to use WordPress.org over the .com one. Because if you download the .org version of it, that means that you can run it on your own server and do other things with it. And it's much more powerful in terms of the versions. All right? So WordPress.com is a cut-down version of WordPress. WordPress.org is when you run it on your own server. And if anyone already has WordPress sites sitting on the .org, on .com version, I would recommend converting it to the .org version. Because they will get much more power out of their WordPress. Okay? Right, so the sites we're going to show you now, I'll show you a couple of portfolio-based sites. Now, these are using themes that I just did. So I didn't actually design all these from scratch. I'll talk to you about themes in a minute. So, for example, this is a site I just did for a photographer. Roger's also got our own photographer one. And this one was done in WordPress. We used the theme. This was put together in one day. Right? And it's a portfolio-based website where you can look through the pictures so that to me is an example, a reasonable example, of a portfolio-based website. So that's great. Yeah? That's if you like my first version or first type of website. Yeah? Okay? And obviously I'm sure that in the room, if you any of you guys want to show me any of your sites, and in terms of portfolio-based sites, then that's when you know then. <laughs> that to me is an example of a portfolio-based site. Alright? So I think the other point is as well, I always like to say to people is, 
Just, you don't have to be number one on Google to have a portfolio-based site. Even if you get out your business cards, it's still worth having a site to show people what you've done and who you're about. Yeah? Okay, guys?